and welcome to another unboxing video. This time I just received this package from PLC Expert in the Czech Republic. It arrived all the way from Prague. Alec Bedak sent me the package with some new PLC Expert products. I am uh, quite unfamiliar with the new products and I really have no clue what exactly will be in the package. So now we'll open it together and see what he has sent me. Let's pick Rusty and try to figure out if I can at least open the package. Theoretically, cutting here should do the job. So let's see how it goes in practice. Seems to be quite well packaged and wrapped. But that shouldn't be a problem for good old Rusty. Okay, first layer is out. I'll take it completely out so we can get good access to the box. So now let's go through the second layer of tapes. Obviously the package had to make it here all the way from Europe. And it seems to have made it in one piece. And now we have gained access to what's really inside. Boy, there is quite some traps here. I'm sure everything has arrived in really good shape with all this bubble wrap. Oh boy. Okay. Oh boy, there seems to be quite a lot of stuff here, so... Oh, nice! 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 So, we have a bunch of Arduino and Raspberry Pi based microcontrollers. So, I'll have to study them and see the different controllers. So. At least this one, I believe, requires Arduino, most likely Nano, to be placed on top. And it has some industrial grade digital I.O. and appears to even have a fuse here. So this turns your Arduino Nano into a small PLC controller, which is rack mountable with clips it seems so you can directly clip it on the rack this appears to be a standalone PLC controller of some type again I'll have to study it no I believe this one is actually extender well it has address selection so yes, it's I2C PLC extender, so you can have master controller and the master controller, yes, the master controller has I2C here and you can hook the I2C between this and this extender and have effectively, is this, yeah, this is also uh, I2C extender, so here we have master controller and I2C extenders for the master controller. And you can daisy chain a number of them as long as you succeed to set them on different addresses. 
and here is table of addresses here is also some address selection so okay we figured these guys out now let's take a look at this controller this appears to have built-in yes it has built-in controller it has the USB for programming here available appears to be micro USB this one is reset and upload I will have to see what is the microcontroller inside it's either uh, uh, some Arduino type it could be ESP32 or uh, very well it could be Raspberry Pi Pico I will have to study and figure out which of the microcontrollers is inside and finally we have this one is Raspberry Pi zero so most likely this is Arduino based this one is uh, Raspberry Pi zero based I'm actually not sure this still may be a Raspberry Pi Pico I I'll have to figure out what's exactly inside and judging by the presence of the boot button or upload button it could very well be speed based but again I do not know for sure and I don't want to speculate any further it will, it, when I discover when I make the video I will post more information about each of the controllers below the video so uh, check out below the video for further resources uh, this one, yes, this one has RS-485 this one is extended of course uh, and this one does not appear to have 485 so this one is mainly I2C extendable this one also appears to be I2C only extendable so this is the only one I think from the set that has 485 and normal UART it has SPI I'm wondering whether or not it has oh yes it has I2C as well so it has both SPI and I2C extender I am not sure whether or not this guy here is SPI it's entirely possible well no it is just power I believe I believe this is just well not sure not sure it could be SPI extension here I will have to study the controller so this one will be obviously the most powerful of them since you can run a uh, whole Linux on it so now that's that appears to be everything in this box let's put the box aside put all the controllers next to each other they make for a nice set and next step for me is obviously to figure out what's inside each of them uh, play a little bit with them and then start mapping them in uh, Visuino so far I have supported if I'm not mistaken every single one of the PLC expert uh, products in Visuino and the plan is to continue with the same tradition and support these guys as well they are all brand new products uh, these are the first I believe engineering samples even so I do not know whether or not they are immediately available uh, for sale but if they are again I will post more resources below the video so remember to check below the video and it will be nice if you also remember to click the like button and if you enjoy the content and want to support me making more videos and continuing uh, adding support for more and more products uh, in Visuino subscribing will definitely help hope you guys enjoyed this uh, unboxing video and uh, we'll see you soon 
Have a great day everyone. Goodbye.